Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. If you wish to be a writer, write. He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. Whoever does not regard what he has as most ample wealth, is unhappy, though he be master of the world. Remember, it is not enough to be hit or insulted to be harmed, you must believe that you are being harmed. If someone succeeds in provoking you, realize that your mind is complicit in the provocation. Don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will, then your life will be serene. Difficulties show men's character, therefore, when a difficulty falls upon you, remember that God, like a trainer of wrestlers, has matched you with a rough young man. When you are offended at any man's fault, turn to yourself and study your own failings. Then you will forget your anger. All religions must be tolerated for every man must get to heaven in his own way. Don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen, and you will go on well. It takes more than just a good-looking body. You've got to have the heart and soul to go with it. Unless we place our religion and our treasure in the same thing. Religion will always be sacrificed. What concerns me is not the way things are, but rather the way people think things are. The chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control, and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Freedom is not procured by a full enjoyment of what is desired, but by controlling the desire. Never in any case say I have lost such a thing, but I have returned it. Is your child dead? It is a return. Is your wife dead? It is a return. Are you deprived of your estate? Is not this also a return? People are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them. Don't let the force of impressions knock you off your feet, just say to them, hold on a moment, let me see who you are and what you represent. Let me put you to the test. The two powers which in my opinion constitute a wise man are those of bearing and forbearing. Do not seek to bring things to pass in accordance with your wishes, but wish for them as they are. And you will find them. Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. Keep silence for the most part, and speak only when you must, and then briefly. Whenever you are angry, be assured that it is not only a present evil, but that you have increased a habit. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. No man is free who is not master of himself. 
All philosophy lies in two words. Sustain and abstain.